Welcome to Flippin' Trinkets and Treasures. We are two Southern ladies on a journey to find new treasures. Every day is a new adventure and a chance to step into the past and learn about where we come from. To add to our growing collection of pretty things and make a few bucks along the way. This is our passion. It's how we make our living and more important than anything, it's fun. So come along for the ride and we can travel our next adventure together. See you there. channel it is that time again time for us to do a haul video we've got um, we don't have a whole lot to do um, but we're gonna do the few things we found at, at Betty's Antiques and then we got a, some things we got from the Goodwill um, but it's just it's really it's kind of just a check-in too mm -hmm. to see how, we're, how everything's going um, it's actually been a slow week as far as like sales but it, it happens every once in a while, and, and from what I understand, it's not everybody. Or it's, it, it's a lot of people who are having slow sales this week. So I don't know if people are spending their money on other things or, or saving it for Christmas. That's true. But I fully expect November to be insane. Um, so uh, let's just get into it. So we have to show you. Um, let's start with the stuff we got at Betty's because that's the most recent. Um. Hold on. Go ahead and oh oh. I just brought out one of the okay. cups. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. So while we were at Betty's, now you know we've, we've talked about how that things there are pretty highly priced. They're not like unreasonable. Just there's nothing that we can resell when we go in there. However, when we find a dollar section, we kind of get up, get some stuff. Um. And we actually got a four piece of these brown, they're pottery, are they pottery? They're brown stone. Like stoneware? Brown stoneware. Um, they're, I'm sure they're handmade because they actually have a signature on the bottom. It's kind of dark, but yeah, right in there. Um, and they were a dollar piece. We got a four, a four piece set of these. Um, and I, I, I would drink hot cocoa out of that. I love it. I do too. Um, they have this like this floral design on the side. It looks kind of poinsettish or something like that and it's got this uh is it a sunflower no it doesn't have a big enough center mm. i don't know um but it's got this light brown drip glaze you on the what edge you need in that mm. eggnog yeah yeah well i mean that's what i'm saying hot cocoa something christmasy something warm um but yeah we've got a set of four of these um i haven't done a whole lot of research on it yet um but i would probably say probably Anywhere between $14 and $18 for all four. Um, we'll see how they do. Because I think this is probably... I would I would almost assume that it probably comes from like... Um, oh shoot. Gatlinburg or you know one of those Tennessee Mountain type places. With the potteries. Places. Yeah. Um, but I like that. And then to go along with that, they had... A, a, most of their brownware like that was what was on sale for a dollar a piece. And so we also... Do we need any more of those? Yes. One of the sets of salt and pepper shakers. Mm -hmm. We always get salt and pepper shakers. You know that. But it's that same stoneware. But it's it's um. Can't read what it says. It's you mean USA. Like glasses? Well, but it's it's signed. It's just dark. I'll show you um on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Like kind of right in there. Um, but it says USA, and it's actually made by somebody. But it's salt, and even says salt, and pepper. And I guess, I guess it comes from up in the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cork comes out. But I like those too. Those are definitely vintage. You can you can just see the age on them. I love them. And there are a lot of people that go for that rugged country vibe, you know, in their decor and even with their kitchens, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, so they actually do have a, a, quite a following too. Um, must be uh huh. Okay, then, oh, those are Talavera. Mm -hmm. Yay! Okay, cool, we haven't had Talavera before. Okay, Talavera is just like a form of like Mexican pottery. Uh, it's, it's the way it's like painted. And these are salt and pepper shakers, some of my favorites, but they are made in Mexico. Oh, they have a symbol too, but they're Talavera. Oh, 
I, I love I the, the color of these. the stoppers are missing as well, aren't they? Yeah, but they're kind of odd stoppers. Like, see, they're really small. But I think most of the people... I think one reason why it's not as big of a deal if there's no stoppers is that most people don't actually use these for salt and pepper. They're actually just decorative, you know? I'm not sure some people do, but... But I love the Mexican pottery. It's just so Mexican. vibrant. Okay. And then we got... Hold on. Let's see if I can get that off. Mm. Get off. Man, they choked that. This camel has like a tag all the way around his neck. What camel? All right, and this is actually, I know, did we get this from? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got this from Betty's. Um, it's actually it's a camel with two barrels, and the barrels are the salt, all are the salt and pepper shakers. But this is made of wood. I, I think it's really cute. I do too. The entire bottom is a stopper. Mm -hmm. um, I just think it's really neat, but. It's actually made in Jerusalem. I don't know if we can see, hold on, so you can see that. Made in Jerusalem. Yep, there we go. Um, but I just, I love it. And what Mom and I had talked to you recently about how we like the wooden pieces, and this is no exception. I mean, it's, it's I think it's really pretty. And I love the, you can see the markings that were actually hand carved, like little notches in the wood. Sometimes the wooden pieces are a little bit too smooth, mm -hmm. but this one actually it looks hand carved. And it makes it look imperfect, but in a way that kind of makes it even more interesting. More real. Mm hmm So I like that one. Right. And then, it's tis the season. We got a little plate. It's a kitty with a Santa hat, and it's very festive and Christmassy. And it's also, oh, it's called Christy, oh, oh, it's called Kitty Kringle. And it's Fitz and Floyd. And I want to say it was like four dollars. Like, I, and I've I've looked and looked, and I don't see anything that's like a chip or anything. It looks like it's in really good condition, actually. And even on the edges here, mm -hmm. it's good. I don't know what that says. Um, well, it's a China-made one, but that's okay. I still like it, and it's coming. Like the Christmas stuff is yes. about to kick in. All right. And then the last thing we got from uh, Betty's, which this is a lot for us getting at Betty's yes, usually. And we, we found the little deals. And I've said this before. It doesn't matter where you go. There is a deal to be found, you found somewhere. Something. You just have to look for it. Um, but the next thing, this is just a little, it's a, um, it's a lion. I guess he's scratching his ear. He must be itching. But anyway, um, it's a lion. Um, and it's kind of made in the style... First off, let's notice the, the texture right here. It's like straight lines. It's a particular style of, um, is it pottery? A ceramic? It's not wood. It's, it's probably ceramic. Uh, but it's made in the style of, um, there's a particular brand that we've bought before in that, that same style with that rough texture. Um, it's Artisania Reikinata. And they do a lot of animals. Because mm -hmm. um, we, I think we had a, uh, we have a panda bear that's still in the store. It's actually in our shop. Um, and then we sold, um, was it a boar? Oh, I think it was a, bo a wild boar. A wild boar. Mm -hmm. And we sold that one pretty fast. Um, and this one has that same texture, only it, his mane is has got some glaze to it, which is interesting. It's a it, differential thing in, in texture. Which we'll, we'll, you know, study up on this and mm -hmm. see I mean it could be it looks a lot Rekinata, like it I mean know. that looks so much like it um, but usually the Reikinata is uh, is either um, it either has a sticker that says Artisania, Re Artisania Reikinata or it'll have uh, a marking chipped in now this one does have something chipped into it but it says it's like CM and like TS or something like that so this was actually made by someone I'm just not sure who that is um, but it's, ah, I like it it's just different from most um, mm -hmm. figurines that we get. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I will, we'll definitely research that. And it's in really good condition. Um, there's a slight, slight, slight chip on one of the sections of main. But I don't think that's anything. It's on the back. And it's very tiny. And I think that it's still in such a good condition that mm -hmm. it still would sell really well. But I love that. Okay, and the next thing, let's see. 
Mom and I, we have a, a little honey hole that we go to every once in a while. <laughs> Close by. It's local. We won't film it. Because for one thing, it's not that we don't want to share it with other people because anybody can go there. But I don't. I think it was disrespectful. Simply for the fact that it's a, it's a community-based place. And <clears throat> I don't want to be seen to be profiting. Well, that, that sounds kind of deceptive itself. But it's, let's, just, let's just say it's a, a local community center that does good things for our community. So we spent quite a bit of money there. In support, support. That's not like I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to profit off of them, <laughs> but that's just an inevitable. Considering we buy things so cheaply there, but the things we buy there are our glassware, um, and they're usually 25 cents a piece. Um, we should tell you how much we spend there. <laughs> but um, one of the things, and I didn't go this time, but Mom went in there. One of the things she got was um, this little girl figurine. Now I think it's probably a hobbyist piece. It's like someone that someone's actually painted. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really cute. And it's signed by the bottom by whoever painted it. Um, should I have it upside down? Grace. November 27th, 1974. So even though... <coughs> Sorry, tickle. So even though it is something that was hand-painted by somebody else, and it's probably... Um, it's probably a mold that there's multiples of this particular style mm -hmm. we just painted it differently but it's 1974 I mean that was a long time ago um, and it's really well done they put they stayed in the lines it's it's really well painted um, it's probably not worth a whole lot but when you pay 25 cents for something right. it's okay okay and then mom found this um, Made in China. I know, I know it is made in China, but again, 25 cents. It's okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's really pretty. The blue with the floral front. Ruffled um, edge. Ruffled edge. There's no chips on the spout. And when you're buying teapots, a lot of times the spout has chips all over it. That's mm -hmm. the first thing that breaks. That or the handle. And then even sometimes on the rim. That one's with good. The latest, but this one is good. Um, I think this is, it's, it's not something you would use. It's literally a decorative piece, but I think it's pretty. And there's someone out there that would want this. Um, there's a whole set that goes with this. That's just one in the set. Yeah, that's just the teapot. And then mom found the creamer. Which I like creamers. I love the shape of them. Like they're, they just look classy and mm -hmm. like, I had another sticker on there at it some point. Have a, mm -hmm. But yeah, again, it's, it's uh, made in China, but it's so pretty. I mean, there's no, as sometimes I think China made things get a, get a bad reputation. Um, and I think part of it is because there's so many um, types of things that are mass produced. Mm -hmm. However, there are certain things that China did really well that's very unique and very decorative and beautiful. Um, and then along with the teapot and the creamer is the sugar. Now the sugar actually has um, like uh, blooms that kind of so got, Now the bloom does have a little bit of a chip right on the edge there, but you can't even notice it. Like unless you touch it, you don't even like you can't even tell. Um, but anyway, this one's lid is good too. I mean, all three pieces are in really, really good condition. Yeah, they're very nice. Um, but I feel like though, I mean, considering we have a three-piece, um, I would say probably 15, somewhere around there, 15 mm -hmm. to 18 maybe, for all three. Okay. And then, Mom found this, which I find interesting. Now, this is made in China too. However, what you can feel there, that's a, what is that? I feel like a manufacturer weird thing hanging there. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what it is. It's got, it's a, got a diffuser. Yeah. Like it's got this little lid that goes in. Oh, sorry. It's an apple, by the way. A crackle glass. It's a crackle glass. Yeah. You can see it all in there. Um, and it's made in China, but it doesn't go all the way down. And then there's a hole in the bottom of it. Yeah. It's very odd. I wonder if it had a plug at some point. I don't know. 
don't know, but I'll show you the bottom. See, there's a hole. Does it go all the way? Can you see all the way through yep. it? Bye bye. <laughs> but I like that one. I think it's really neat. And again, twenty-five cents. I'm gonna lose fifty. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But that was the last thing we found from there. Mom also got a basket too. That kind of at the price, but it's like I don't think it's. Are we gonna want to sell that? Probably. Oh, well, how are we gonna? How are we gonna um like ship it? Walk in the back. 16 by 10 by 20. Oh, that's a big chunk of hair. I need to work on the edges a little bit. And here. Oh, there we go. This little basket. One pound. I like it too. It's, it's, it's really almost pretty. a buttocks basket, but not quite. Almost. Like even in the shape of the back, yeah. But uh, I would say what was a dollar? Uh, yeah. yeah. It was a dollar. She paid 2.25 for the whole thing. You can't beat that for a basket. Mm -mm. Or even come Christmas would be a good gift basket. Sure. Okay, and then actually this stuff that we got we got today, and it was just a quick stop that we made at the Goodwill. Um, there's only four, one, two, one, two, three, four, six different things. Um, first thing we found were these art glasses. I just think those were wine glasses. We got two of them. Oh, oh, ding, ding. <laughs> um, but they're a lovely color blue and they have a white interior um, so I, I would dare say I mean they've got to be hand blown and they've got nice weight to them yeah there, there were several glass sets that they had there today but you could tell by picking them up they were just like <clears throat> not like expensive thing they weren't they weren't very quality mm -hmm. but this one you can tell with the white in the middle, um, the white inside, and the, the blue exterior, the way that they made this was kind of complicated because you had to make the, the interior first and then the exterior. And I was watching, I was on TikTok again, and I was watching this person making glass, uh, blowing glass, and they dip it in different sands and spin it and blow. And, and it's, oh, it's so neat how they like make layers. Oh, I'm fascinated. But I, I could sit there for hours just watching people blow glass. All right. I think that's Homer Laughlin. Lefton. Oh, it's Lefton. Yeah. Made in Japan. So this is Lefton. And it's like a small miniature version. Miniature. It's a miniature. <laughs> um, picture with the ba basin. The basin. Mm -hmm. It's just small. It's got a bird it's like, on it. It's got a bird on it. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Um, but it's just super cute. I, I, I love it. And I think it's probably we've the actually, collector's piece. Too. Yeah. And strangely enough, we've actually sold quite a few pictures without the basins. Oh, yeah. Um, the ones that we've sold are, are slightly bigger than that one. But a lot of times there's someone in California. Or we sold one to, I think it was Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Some, do, some like, uh, Oriental person was winning it for decorative purposes in their, their home. I'm fine with that. I'll send anything to anybody if they want to buy it. And then I was walking along these the end stands. Hold on, pause for a second. Okay, we're back. Um, I was walking along the end stands, and I saw this set of it was like um, there were uh, like gravy bowls and all these. Do you have those other bowls? Oh, I forgot about them. Got two of them. Anyway, but I picked up the top. There's there's a whole set of stuff. Now a couple of them we didn't pick up because they didn't have their lids. Like we didn't have the gravy bowl lid, and there was the terrain ter terrain terrain terrain, terrain. Um, that has like the, the spoon, and you have a lid with that. And they didn't have their lids, so we left those. Which I would have loved to have had the lids because they were gorgeous. But anyway, um, oh yeah, hold on, I'll show that first. I'm guessing that's a pie cutter holder. Or a pipe plate? Yeah, sure. Well, whatever. There's a whole set of these. There's plates and bowls. But one of them was this. And it's hand painted. But what makes it so special is who makes it. I don't know if you can read that, but it says Haviland Limoges. And of course, here's the Limoges with the L, but it also says Limoges around this part here. Haviland is one of the biggest. Limoges um, maker, or not makers, they, they're the ones that do the painting 
on the plates. But Havlin is one of the big ones mm -hmm. that you find. They were every single piece was a dollar seventy nine. Which here's the thing with plates, at the very least, most of these plates, I think the lowest I've seen some of these plates go is nine dollars. Not this particular pattern, but just Havlin Limoges in general. So if you pay this a dollar seventy nine and you get like let's say a set of four, and you sell each plate for nine dollars, I mean. There's a lot of profit to be made there. So yeah, we paid a dollar seventy nine for each plate. However, um, and there's another one of these somewhere in there, but um, it's not this particular one. It's like it's more of a platter. Um, but Limoges um, from France. From France, yeah. And I'm so excited to see Havlins, man. I, we haven't done any of the Havlins. Um, of course, then we have this is um, a salad plate. And you can get a better view of that floral design. I love... I think it's beautiful. Yes, they're gorgeous. And that pink exterior. That, oh, that's a bowl, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this is a big bowl. you have four of each of these? Mm -hmm. Nice! I, okay. Anyways, every one of these, except for that first triangular plate, the, the plates, the bowls. Oh, that's great. We have four of each. Mm -hmm. And then we cut. Either this is a bread plate or it's a saucer of some kind. But they all have that Limoges symbol on the back. And I was, I was so excited about that. So excited. We, I, I get excited about brands and like famous artist names. And like when we find something that we've seen someone else find and you know, we're awed it's by just, it. They're rare. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that makes them more collectible. And it's interesting because when we first started this, I knew nothing about glassware or pottery or anything like that and we've learned so much within the last year that you know when you finally get when you get into it it's so exciting and it's because, addictive yes it is i mean i'm not gonna lie <clears throat> when we first got into this i was in it for the money because i knew there was a money to be made with this these kind of things but the more you get into it the more you research the more you you know experience things that you've never seen before it becomes less about the money and more about the find. Like, I mean, that's what I live for with mm -hmm. this stuff. It's like, oh my god, it's Limoges. Now, you know, there, not every piece of Limoges is worth anything, but I have a feeling this one's going to have a pretty big price on it because of the design, because of the, uh, the painter. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited about those. Um, then we only have one more thing. Now, I've never heard of this pottery. It's called hand pottery but it's really pretty this is like sponge wear it's sponge wear mm -hmm. um now we paid, a, we paid four dollars for this but usually we can triple with quadruple that cost with this kind of thing and honestly okay we're from kentucky um louisville part of pottery like okay whenever i see it on like another person's channel they're talking about louisville pottery it's louisville pottery to them and it's like no it's Louisville. Louisville. It's not Louisville. It's not Louisville. It's Louisville. Okay? <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> but when you're from another state, it, they don't understand. Um, but anyway, no, um, but I love this color. It's like green and blue. And the way it's speckled is just so pretty. And I love pottery. I mean, it's just quality weight. And you feel like you could, like, put stuff in it and have it not, mm -hmm. you know, withstand weight in it. Right. You know, they're heavy duty. But yeah, I love that. And yeah, like I said, yeah, I paid four four dollars for it, but I like it, and it'll sell well. So anyway, that's everything we found in the last few days. Um, we are planning. Okay, and then when I say these things, please like keep in mind that things change. Like plans change because something happens, and we have to alter, our, you know, our decisions. Um, for right now. Our plan is to go to Springfield Antique Barn um, at the end of the week, because that's like one of my favorite places. Mm -hmm, like, too. oh, I love it there. Um, and they just had this big, huge festival at the, um, at the market uh, at the Antique Barn, and uh, I'm sure they sold a ton of stuff. So they should be restocking this week. And I'm hoping that when we go in after they've sold a bunch of stuff out, there'll be new things for us to see. Um, because I know that they had just the last time we were there, when it was about a month ago. But they hadn't done a, well. They've done a whole lot of restocking, but it was for that festival. Mm -hmm. So um, I fully expect to see some good things right. when we go in there. And of course, we'll, we'll probably um, go to the Goodwill 
while we're in Springfield because mm -hmm. that's an awesome grid world too. Um, but that's tentatively what our plan is for the week. I mean, I don't know if, if, if that falls through when we have to go somewhere else, but we'll go somewhere. But our hope is Springfield and Tiborn because it's a oh, yeah, great place. So anyway, can you think of anything else, Mom? Mm, not wrong if I buy it. All right, well, that's everything we've got for today. I hope you like we, the things we've found. If you have any we questions. Had fun finding yes, them. Yes, absolutely. We have, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if, if uh, you see something that I called something and it's something else, let me know. Uh, if you know about that line, whether or not it's like connected to Artis Sonia Reconata, let me know. Um, but in the meantime, we've got some more work to do. We've got some pictures to take and lots of pictures to, to do. Take. But um, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button or that little bell in the corner that gives you notifications of when we post our videos. Have a great day.